Hi, it's me again with Corel Doll Tips and Tricks. Somebody sent me this DNA helix. Uh, I know the DNA part. I don't understand the helix part. But they want to turn this around a circle. You know, he actually mentioned object to path. But in this case, uh, object's path isn't going to work like this or near as good. So I've kind of measured out. You know, prehand, I got it up here and I measured and I need a 36 degrees. So the fact that it'll rotate evenly, so I measured it and, and it was like 17.96. So I make it 18 and we can make, we're going to use the envelope tool. Two point line, go from the center, holding down the control button to go upward. Double click on it, move the rotation to the center. Doesn't look like it is, but it is. Rotated 18 degrees. Now, two ways we could do it. We could control D and duplicate it and rotate it a negative 18 degrees. Or what I do a lot is hit the calculator button. What I do a lot is get rid of that. Control D and make a duplicate and then just mirror it. But with an 18 degree, it's pretty equal. Now, take the Smart Field tool and it's Fill that in and nudge it out of the way. I'm going to left click, right click. And here's kind of a key right here. We need this shape inside there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select that, hold down the shift key and select that. I'm going to go C, E. That put it in their center equally because I need to be able to move that later. So now I'm going to nudge that guy up. I'm going to go, and I've got this selected. I'm going to go to effects. I'm going to go down to the envelope docker. And I'm going to go right here to create a new form. As soon as I do that, I get a little arrow and I'm going to pour it into the form. Now, this is why I nudged it up because now I can nudge it down. And then I can nudge it over and it's in the exact spot I need. I can get rid of these two lines. Now, and you could use the transformation docker on this, but we really need to kind of look at something first. So I'm going to control D and make a duplicate, double click on it and move it to the center. We're in the center. I'm going to rotate it now 36 degrees. Now we need to look at our joints to make sure they're close enough. And, you know, we're off a little bit because it's drawing or the envelope tool made them off a little bit, but we can fix that at any time, and I'm going to show you. Control D and rotate at 72 degrees. Control D, Control D, Control D, Control D, Control D, Control D. Now you've got it. Now the only thing is to test it. I'm actually going to take that, instead of using a rectangle, I'm just going to use, I'm holding down the shift key and making that circle bigger. In case it leaks, it won't go everywhere. And voila, it leaks because we have all those uh, open nodes at our joint because the drawing, either the drawing isn't perfect or let's see where that would be like, which one it's at. When we started, oh, here it is right here. See that the joints are leaking. You could manually fix it first before you rotate it, or you could do this. And see, we need to pretty much select everything and see if it won't let us break the curve apart or at least convert it to a curve and then see if we can't break the curve apart. No, it's only going to work individually because when you do that and you grab the shape tool, sometimes you're going to get the envelope tool. Now, all these joints are pretty far away from each other except for the ones that need repairing. So you could, you know, I could have fixed it before I did it. But if we will do this, if you will group this together, well, I don't think grouping will work. There we go. Now, sometimes this will only work because it's on the blue. But now we're going to go to Windows, Dockers, Join Curves. And I am I have no clue what millimeters are. Um, I'm going to just put like 0 0.02 and hit Apply. Need to select them all and hit Apply. What that did, it... it Close up, hopefully close up those little bitty joints, but didn't, see it's not perfect, 
So, you know, you could go through there and delete that as long as it doesn't mess up your, your stroke. So I might even make a second video. This would work. Uh, it's not going to leak now. I'm going to always use my rectangle tool just in case it does. And take in there and fill that in and see it doesn't leak because we joined the curves. And then you could always take that color fill away and left click, right click. And I guarantee, I guarantee that'll cut out without doing what I'm going to do in the second video. Because we might, we might be off just a hair, like right there. But let's see, see if we can't just delete it and it worked. So you could go through and delete those, you know, all those extra little nodes we repaired. But let's, I'm going to make a second video if it works like I think it's going to work. And we're going to repair it before we rotate it. Anyway, hope that helped.